Today, friends, we are going to create a super fun keychain using a Bitmoji. So let's get cracking. So step one, friends, is to track down a Bitmoji that you want to work with. Images with a lot more details are a little more difficult. I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to change it so it says let's get cracking. So I am going to right click on it and I'm going to save the image and I'm going to save mine in my downloads folder. I'm going to change this to bitme one so I can keep track of which one it is. With that image saved, I need you to switch to Pixlr Express or Pixlr X and we're going to choose open image. That image is in the downloads area. We can simply click on it and choose open. Check that out. It's already transparent and we can just clean this up real quick with the eraser tool. I'm going to go to drawing eraser. I'm going to shut off all the softness. Let's make that a lot larger and we can simply click and get rid of the word that was built in. Just like that, we can click on this and choose save. We want the PNG. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. I'm going to call this 1A and hit save. Do use your saves wisely as we only get three per day. With that step completed, I need you to visit picksvg.com. It is a slick SVG converter. Right now we are going to upload the picture. We're going to grab the one without the words, tell it OK, and then simply pick your favorite of the edge ones. I like edge three today. And I'm going to download it once again in my downloads folder. I'm going to call it bitme and I'm going to put a 24 after it because I have done this project at an earlier date. Just like that, friends, we can bounce to Tinkercad. Remember, when you get here, I always choose sign in with Google. And today we're going to hit create brand new 3D design. I always start by naming it. This is going to be called bitme and I'm going to put 24 after it and hit enter. We can now click over here and choose import. We want to choose a file. Of course, go to your downloads and find that Bitmoji you just created. Hit import. We're going to click art. Right now, it's 464 millimeters, which is huge. I like to get it closer to 60 or 70. I'm going to change the scale to 20%. Notice then it's 90. Keep adjusting this until you find the number that works for yours. If you remember that percent, it may come in handier if you add details at a later date. Right now, though, we can simply click import. When you click import, you will have to wait for a moment. But after a moment, bingo, your Bitmoji will arrive. Now, here's the magic trick. We can change the fill mode. I'm going to do control D to duplicate. I'll move this to the side and we're going to hit silhouette. While it's doing its math, I'm going to change the height to two millimeters thick. That is traditional for my keychains. I'm also going to bump up the quality and all of a sudden there's the back of your keychain. Now I want this to be a little larger, so I'm going to click on it and do control D to duplicate. Notice it may take a moment for that to happen. Once it does, instead of silhouette, this time I'm going to do outer line. I'm going to choose the number two. You can play with this and adjust. I always like the round corners and make sure you keep that quality at max. Just for fun, I'm going to grab those two items and pick a different color. I always like blues, so I'm going to go like that. Of course, select them quick and choose L for a line. And I just want them to be centered with each other. So you can see how that is the background of your keychain. And right here, my friends, is our details chunk. I'm going to set that to three millimeters. And you can see how that would be a really fun keychain that would 3D print. Let's pick a better color for that. I'm going to go with a gray. Once again, choosing lion's colors because that's how I roll. I'm also going to quickly fill in this bottom just because I think it'll look a little more cool. Bringing out a cylinder, maximizing the sides for smoothness. And I'm just going to move this into place with squishing and the same height to get what I want. Notice as I'm stretching this, I'm using the black handles, finding the spot that I like. And then check this out. Even though it goes past these two spots, I'm going to trim it so that it comes through right here and ends up looking pretty sweet by simply bringing out a cube and saying that is where I want it to connect. And then I'm going to cruise out another cube. Now notice if I set it on top, that won't cut. 
So I'm setting it on the normal work plane, finding the spot where I'd want it to be, and let's use Shift Select. So that's one item, two items, and three items selected. When I hit Group, all of a sudden that lines up how I would want. I could still adjust it a little bit if I was fiddling with it or if I wanted to. And now I can Shift Select those two parts and do Control G to Group. Note it does take a moment. But bingo, there's my new bottom piece. Let me show you another fun trick. We can click on our custom color, click the number, and click another spot where we want that color to be, and bingo, it drops right in place. I'm going to cut a keychain hole. I like to use size 5. The first step is to maximize the sides, and then I like to do shift, stretch, or shrink. Click the box, type the number we want, and it snaps to size five on every corner. And this would probably be the location where I would put my keychain hole. Friends, with that completed, I want to add Let's Get Cracking. Let me show you how we're going to do that. This right here is Canva. I have chose Sign In with Google. I also want to create an Instagram post. I like these because they are super efficient. We're going to simply click over here on text, add a text box. Of course, mine is going to say Let's Get Cracking. Give an exclamation point. I'm going to pick a fun font. Notice there are tons to choose from. I'm going to go with Pacifico and then I'm going to add the effect of the curve. I'm going to quickly stretch this so that it fits the design better. Notice you can click on that effect and modify it so the curve is different, but I think that is exactly how I want it. This will stretch between my hands. And then let's click File and we are gonna download this image. I'm gonna leave it as a PNG, simply hit download, and once again, it'll go to my downloads folder. And I'm gonna leave it with the name Let's Get Kraken that it already chose. Once again, we quickly switch back to pick SVG, upload that picture. When it comes in, this time we're gonna choose internal too. That is my favorite for getting that edge we want. You can also double check and see if internal three is a little bit more crisp. Whichever one you like, we're going to simply hit download SVG. I'm going to call this one LGC for let's get cracking and save it. Now, friends, back to Tinkercad. Once again, we choose import, choose a file. There's my let's get cracking. I want the art. 760 is crazy big. We're going to take this and make it 65. That should be close to the right size. And choose import. After a moment, our design shows up. Notice it comes close to fitting where I want. I am going to adjust the rotation. We do need to find the correct rotation handle. Notice this one would be incorrect. So I'm going to do control Z. The rotation handle I want was up here. I think that's going to be fantastic. I'm going to do shift stretch to get it closer to the exact size and a couple extra twist. And then the same tricks to get the outside edge. We're going to do control D take the second one and we're going to make it the outer line. I still like that number two. I'm going to still make it round and I'm going to bump up the quality. Once it finishes, we can change that height to two. So let's get the back of this set up quick. We are gonna hide those words. We're gonna do control D and we're gonna make the second one a silhouette. That'll fill it in. Now we can hide this one. Once again, double check that the parts are going to touch. I'm gonna select both of these. Notice if we stay inside the shape, it's 22 and a half degrees. If we come out further, we can do one millimeter at a time. When we've got it all selected, we can grab that entire set and do control G to group. It does take a moment. Note there are superficial lines. I'm gonna tell you that those will not matter in our real project. If we quickly hit show all, if we do a top view look and a flat view, you can see those aren't lined up exactly. That is because of that rotation. If we check that out, it takes two or three degrees to get it right back where it was. If I hit show all, 
You'll notice the gray pokes through the bottom. I have no need for that. So we're gonna simply hit W for work plane. We can now click on the gray pieces, make sure we only have those and do D to drop them to the top. And then I'm gonna change the height to one for how far they're each going to stick out of the keychain. With that set up, friends, it's ready to send to the 3D printer. We're gonna do that by exporting the blue piece. Export just the selected shape, STL. This is gonna be the bit.me back. Once it is done, I'm gonna click on the words. Notice I am shift selecting to grab the two of them. I am not grouping them because we do not have to. So now with those two shapes, I'm gonna simply export as an STL. And I'm gonna name these as the words. Notice I did already do that earlier. I'm just gonna save on top of the other one. Let's do W for work plane to set that back. In Bamboo Lab Studio, we're gonna simply bring in those two designs. We can grab them at the exact same time. I'm gonna, of course, choose load as a single object with multiple parts. Notice it is complaining about manifold edges. I'm gonna simply hit repair. Those are likely those tiny little corners that we saw where it had the glitches. Once it completes, which may take a moment, we can double check to make sure it looks right. It is likely gonna be easier to do that after you switch your colors. I'm gonna leave the back of mine the blue and I'm gonna make the words the black. I'm using PLA, and I think that is gonna be pretty darn spectacular. I am gonna go back to global, and I'm gonna make this print a tiny bit faster. I'm gonna to go to others, and I'm gonna shut off the prime tower. I'm not worried about a prime tower because it's gonna do all of the blue, and then the black will be on top. Let's simply hit slice plate and print plate, Double check my colors and we can send it to the 3D printer. As you can see, it'll be done in less than 30 minutes. After a moment, it bounces to the device menu and it begins the download process. Once that completes, we can click up here on the play button and monitor everything from afar. And 30 minutes later, a fantastic keychain. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to say thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is going. Make sure you click the links below to learn more about it. Of course, friends, I want to thank you for watching as well. Remember, every time you click that like button, click share, add a comment, or hit that subscribe button, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Of course, friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.